So this is Intelli Studio, and I'm just opening a photo from a yacht race many years ago, and I'm going to add some effects using uh, this program. On the left here, you can see the uh, toolbar, uh, but first of all, I'm enlarging the image, as you can see, just so that I can see the effects of the. Um, changes I'm about to make. So looking at the column on the left, first of all the insert stamp. Well I've inserted a, a sun, I've moved it and just pressed enter to fix it into place. Next I'm going to image effect and I'm looking at the different effects here such as sepia or antique and I've added a glow. It's um, not a very strong effect, but just a slight warming of the image. So next I'm going to try a different effect. Still looking around at the program itself. And that, that's what black and white looks like, that's what glow looks like another effect here too. I quite like the vignette effect so I think I might leave it there for the moment. Here's the auto adjust, auto brightness, there's also auto contrast and you can fine tune some of these effects too. Saturation that makes the colour lighter or darker or brighter if you like, makes the colours brighter and I think I'll warm that up by three points at the top there. That's what it looks like at minus four. It takes it almost back to black and white. Adding a sharpness makes the picture crisper. And uh, so next I'm going to try the um, other retouching effects. Obviously um, these are a bit extreme and maybe not suitable for this image. Gave it a go anyway and um, I've used the swirl tool here and I can swirl the image that sort of gives a, a distortion effect but I don't really like that so I'm going to undo that or restore, press the restore button, all oh, that doesn't seem to work No. and at the top here is an undo button, that's a typical undo button so that's taking it back to the as it was before face whitening, quite a lot of things there that can be done resetting those and uh, also trying the stretch effect and oops there you go you can see the stretching effect there <laughs> it makes the boat look very strange but don't like those so I'll undo those and go back to the standard image adding a frame that's actually added a small white frame, difficult to see, but it is there. There is a white frame now around the image. But I think I'll go back on that one and I'll try a different frame. Perhaps the darker frame I'll add on to the outside of this image here. So that's that effect. So with the vignette and the darker frame, that, that gives quite a strong border. So now I'll save the image, file save, but uh, I'll keep my original so I'll save it in another name. And I'll call it image B by adding a small B on the end of the file name. And that completes the process.